Hey, welcome to Man Kitchen Recipes. I'm Kevin, and tonight we're going to do some uh, green chili brisket tacos on the Blackstone. And yes, I've made the green chili and brisket tacos before, but tonight we're going to make them with that little cheese ring on the top, fan cheese. Uh, anyway, a little bit different. No sense in making boring old tacos all the time. So check out how I make these green chili and brisket tacos on the Blackstone griddle. Let's go inside, show you what I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna slice up some fresh Roma tomatoes off the plant, just like that. Those will go inside these tacos. Then I've got this uh, brisket that, yes, it's left over. It's cold right out of the fridge, so it's a little tough to cut. I'm gonna get, just gonna do like three slices. That should be plenty for, I don't know, half a dozen or more tacos. Zap it in the microwave for about 30 seconds, get it all shredded up. And as you're pulling it apart, you can take some of the fat off the edges off. You don't really want that in your tacos. Anyway, this shreds up really easy, but you do got to microwave it, heat it up. You don't want to try shredding it directly out of the refrigerator. Well, you know, it's kind of like pulled pork. You just keep pulling it and shredding it. And, uh, you know, once you get it all shredded up, we got a pretty nice little pile here. We'll probably make six to eight tacos. Then I'm going to add about a half a cup of green chili, mix that in, and let's get this out to the Blackstone Griddle. Right, so we're going to make some tacos. Olive oil down. Some olive oil. Yeah, Tom, we're keeping her busy. Get my green chili brisket over to the side and let it stay warm without overcooking. I also have a leftover vegetable skewer from the other night that I'm going to reheat over here. It can be on the black stone while we're making tacos. And of course, I have our fresh tomatoes. Let's see if we can do this without it cooking too fast. You don't have to make boring tacos. We're going to put some cheese inside and we're going to put some cheese on the outside because I love fried cheese. Okay. And then we're going to add some green chili brisket in there. and fold it over up to the tortillas, the top of the tortilla, so the cheese still overhangs like that. Get you in on a close-up. Now, cheese is all nice and crispy. I'm going to set it on here, on this pan like this. Once it cools, you can lift it up, and we'll look at it. Okay, do another one. And then I'm not going to bore you with the rest of them, but I'm going to make a half a dozen anyway. That way we've got cheese in there already. You can Take the cheese out here however you like. It doesn't take a lot of filling to make these little tacos filled up with green chili and brisket. The flavor, oh, just tell them, you got to try it if you have the chance. you got to add green chili to your brisket. Even if you just stash a nice thick piece next time you do a brisket. Okay, just like that. For those of you that say you never have leftover brisket, I say you don't cook enough of it. <laughs> uh, this is from just a little uh, tin pounder that I did over Labor Day weekend. Just had a couple of people over. This one has cooled off a little bit, but look at that. Cheese hanging over. Just like that's the other side. Oh. You can use cheddar cheese if you want. 
you can use whatever type cheese you like. This is that uh, cheese I find at Walmart, the Chihuahua cheese. Chihuahua. It's nice and melting cheese. Vegetables are over here heating up, reheating. They were smoked in the uh, rec tech, actually. You know, gotta make it healthy, right? And we're also gonna have some Mexican rice to go with this. So. All right, I'll show you what we got when we get done. Okay. Look at that. Fried cheese, kind of makes a fan. Got a couple, got some more over here. Try to put them over here. Look at that. See what I'm talking about? One side is open, and the other side has fried cheese on it. Okay, now why is one side open? I'll show you. We take those fresh tomatoes right out of the garden, stick them right inside there. Just like that. We'll do a quick taste test, and uh, yeah, let you go about your day. Right, so there you go. That's my green chili brisket taco with a little fan cheese going on. I got uh, been working on the backyard a little bit. We got some green grass over there. We're gonna end up getting a pergola and uh, fixing it up finally. It's been almost two years. Uh, so here's the taco. You got your fried cheese on one side, no fried cheese on the other side. And then I, en I ended up just putting some fresh tomatoes in there because of the green chili. I don't really need salsa. You can put uh, whatever you want, lettuce, onions, whatever you want. I just love the flavor of the brisket and green chili. Throw in some tomatoes with some cheese, fried cheese. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> what can I say? This taco is outstanding. I'm telling you, I know, leftover brisket. I make it just so I can have leftover tacos. Brisket and green chili. I'll make you some. All right. Thanks for checking this out. I hope you have a great day. Mmm. Mmm.